Hi beautiful Capricorns, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. Thank you very much for all your generosity to the channel. Thanks for all your subscribes, your likes, your comments. You guys are are truly appreciated by me, know that. And I deeply appreciate all your contributions. Thank you. Let's talk about Capricorn. Let's bring some Lemurian energy into this read for Capricorn. What's going on for the beautiful Capricorns? Capricorn energy, please, Spirit. The infinite. She of the Lotus. Heart Chakra. Reclaiming your energy. Ooh, that one. Endless opportunities. Things are all coming into alignment. Things will be overflowing here. Healing. Life force energy all connecting you. Hmm. infinite endless opportunities everything is as it should be everything is being perfectly aligned in your life and your third eye chakra is wide open being revitalized, rejuvenated. You're definitely on the right path. Hmm. Here is a teacher. You may be a teacher. You may be a professional. This is family. Travel. Peace, letting go, transformation. Hmm. This is letting go of fear, deception. Oh, hmm. Standing in your present power, planning to take action, getting courage. You're honoring your higher self. And I think you let go of somebody who is being, uh, maybe there was gossip or rumors or someone's fears. Someone was playing it safe. Hmm. Hmm. Here is fun. A kindred partnership that you're deserving of. The sacred temple. Hmm. Well, you definitely got new love in your life here, Capricorn. It's a kindred partnership. Fun. Peace. You're very deserving. Infinite possibilities. Capricorn energy. Hmm. Bridget, the goddess of eternal flame. I'm an eternal flame, and each day my light grows brighter. Mary of Nazareth, the mother of God, I am blessed. My courage gives birth to the divine. Per Perpetua, the saint of authenticity, I am authentic self in all circumstances, your higher self. 
Catherine Labor, at the patroness of miraculous healing. I am ready to heal, and I am worthy of the miracles that are meant for me. Oh yes, you are deserving of this. Unity, peace, love, joy, happiness, joy, peace is the biggest thing here. Endless opportunities, very courageous energy. You're very deserving of someone very loving. Somebody's afraid that this loving man is going to see through their deception. Hmm. Not enough fire to launch. Mistakes have prevented something from taking off, lift off here. Well, the mistake was this deception. Now there is a third party afraid that this person is seen through their deception. Oh, my ears are ringing. This is someone speaking very good intent about you, speaking well of you. Had to learn a lesson. Wanting to be a Casanova, play the field. Uh, they could have acted very nervous around you. Hmm. A situation ship. A relationship with no direction. Slow moving. They're going to take a long time. Your life partner. Somebody may be refusing to see that something is over. Could have been blinded by love. Hmm. Listening to the patterns. Trying to deny their feelings. Moving too fast. They were moving too fast. They got blinded here, thinking that something was love. Differences in intelligence. Mirroring. Well, I see you're mirroring your life partner.
someone was judging you without facts. They lied. Somebody was judging you deceptively. Yeah. Immature. They listened to people that were judging you. It could have been children or just very immature energies that they were listening to. See? Causing misunderstandings. I don't know, whatever is not in alignment for you, you're letting go of. You are playing it safe. <clears throat> you are like the teacher. You are not too quick to judge here. You are playing it safe. Well, without facts, I'm not going to make a decision without facts. This person over here was listening to maybe children or two people that were very immature. They weren't even on the same freaking page as you. They moved on to someone new. Your actions have shocked them. You know, Capricorn is sitting here, you know, uh, you want to go, go. Obviously, we're not on the same page. I'm not dealing with anyone immature. I'm not dealing with anybody who doesn't know what they want. <laughs> and I think you laughed. And they're shocked that you laughed. I think you got bored with this person's antics. I think you got bored with their indecisiveness, their failure to launch. I think that you got fed up with this person. I think you tried to play it safe. I think that you tried to say, well, you know, obviously we're not on the same page here. Capricorns are not freaking immature. They know what they want. They're going to speak their true, authentic selves. They're going to listen to their higher self. You know, I know what I'm deserving of. I know what I'm worthy of. I'm worthy of a life partner. I'm worthy of someone who is on my intelligence uh, frequency here. I'm worthy of someone who is going to cherish me honor me be devoted to me I'm not dealing with this immature energy you may have tried to play it safe for a while because Capricorns aren't going to judge a book by the cover they are going to assess the situation and make an informed intelligent decision But they judged you without having any facts. 
They could have been criticizing you, criticizing how you thought, or criticizing your ideas. Very immature energies. Afraid of the unknown. So they played around where they felt comfortable. You know what I mean? It's how they were perceiving you. And now they're shocked. You moved on. They never thought you'd go. It's like, I'm not going to be second guessing someone. I mean, I don't have time for that. Capricorn's like, I know what I'm worthy of. I know what I'm deserving of. I'm not going to be settling for this foolishness. You want someone else, go get someone else. And maybe you did exactly that. <laughs> and now they're shocked what oh I thought they were blinded I thought that they were just playing it safe I thought that they'd be back Capricorn's like obviously we're not on the same page if we're not on the same page I'm not going to wait So someone is just focused in on the physical body and like to hell with the intellectual side of things. <clears throat> right person, wrong time. Divine timing. You stood your ground. Your intelligence intimidated the shit out of this person. I mean, you might be very attractive, but there's a brain in Capricorns. They're not immature. I mean, it's fine to look a certain way. So were people judging you because of your looks? Oh, they mustn't have a brain? You're highly intellectual here. I think you got bored with your immaturity. Like they had to sacrifice something, you know. You know, they may have not put you as a priority. You know, somebody who may not have just been flexible. This is spontaneity. This is like... It's just like somebody... Yeah, they were trying to hold you. 
And for a while, you may have let this person take your power from you. They might have been guilting you about things, you know? They underestimated you, Capricorn. It was your intelligence that intimidated the heck out of these people. Jealousy. That's that F boy, F girl mentality. You know, and you know what you're deserving of. Honor, respect, integrity, fun, laughter, harmony, peace, stability. This person may have said, you know, they were working, but they were out having fun with some other lover. Victim mentality. This is an emperor <coughs> who is judging you. Teacher, you gotta learn a lesson. Jealous. Maybe they were doing things to make you jealous. Maybe they were, you know, judging a book by its cover. Bread crumbing. This could have been a, a Leo energy and a Gemini energy who were deliberately trying to make you jealous. It could have been a couple of people. But the truth is they were actually jealous of you. Your independence. Your confidence. Your stability. Your respect. Your integrity. What's this all about? Hmm. You're standing in your true, authentic self. You're very wise. You may be a teacher. I think you walked away. You know, this is juggling third parties, friends. Choosing friends, choosing untrustworthy people. Immature energy. Could have been family. Causing them to be stuck. Listening to novices, immature people, people who thought that they knew more than you knew, more than an empress. Give me a break. Fear. Fear kept them stuck. Or negative thinking, negative mindset. Or pulling the wool over someone's eyes. And 
now they feel like the odd man out looking in at your life. Maybe you're married. Maybe you're in a solid commitment. Maybe they were jealous and envious of your intelligence, your money, your looks. They were in the energy of lust. <laughs> Which is fine if it's Capricorn energy, but... Uh, not going to judge a book by a cover. Hmm. What the hell? Resistant to change. What the hell is this? Closed off their heart chakra. This could be people judging you, Capricorn, saying that you're greedy because you spend all your time working and making money. You're providing for the future, your future stability. You're not resistant to change. You're open to change. Look, the Wheel of Fortune, it's your destiny. You use your true authentic self to create abundance. You're not just a pretty face. You're smart. You're wise. You're intelligent. And then they want to think that Capricorn is being greedy or, or, or Capricorn is just all about lust or Capricorn is all this and all that. People doing this. Capricorn is greedy. Capricorn, the people were thinking Capricorn is greedy. Capricorn has no heart. Capricorn is too intelligent. You're a threat to somebody. You might be very attractive. So then they assume, oh, you're just all about sex. You're all about lust. There is a brain behind this energy. Somebody was judging a book by a cover. They don't realize that behind that body or that image that people are saying about you, there is someone very intelligent. Maybe they can't handle success. Maybe they can't handle somebody who is smart, good looking, successful, abundant, gets a lot of attention. Oh, Capricorn is just doing this for attention. Capricorn is this, Capricorn is that. Capricorn is sharp as a whip here. And it's your intelligence that intimidates them. You know your worth, your value. Financially stable. If you're not, you certainly are on your way to being. What the hell? Oh, see? Capricorn is just all about the money. Capricorn is all about the flash. Capricorn is all about lust. Capricorn is this. Capricorn is that. It was to control you. If they can't control you, they make shit up about you. This could be a mother, a controlling mother. This could be a baby mama. This could be someone who this person's talking to. Capricorn is greedy. Capricorn is all about lust. 
Capricorn is just out for a good time. Capricorn is this, Capricorn is that. Capricorn is wise, smart, intelligent, good-looking, highly respected, highly honored, and smart as a whip. Is on their north node. <laughs> critics, critics in the house. It's because they can't control you. That they make this allegement. Mm. <coughs> What's this all about? Yeah. It is someone who is being controlled and is overwhelmed with a child. That's what would seem to be in this situation. Someone they went to, they may have had a karmic child, believing that this was their child. But they're going to find out the truth about this child. And when they find the truth out about this child, they are going to be overwhelmed. That someone was using a child to control them. And then who do they want to go to? The teacher. They're being taught a lesson. The lesson you taught this person is you walked away. Or they walked away right into a karmic lesson. But you walked away, look what you're walking into. The Empress energy Standing in your true authentic self, Ten of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, the Star, the Wheel, Endless Opportunities, Abundance, Independent, Single, getting a lot of attention. Maybe you got beautiful pictures. Maybe people talk to you. Maybe people are messaging you. Maybe that's exactly what needed to happen. Failure to launch here. You're not dealing with that immature energies. Criticism, judgment, judging a book by the cover. Bye. I'm not blinded by love. I have a brain. They're going to get some news about a child. And they know it's going to hurt you. Earth Angel Energy. Right person, wrong time. Because they got news about a child. Hmm that they didn't want. <laughs> they did not want this child. They're angry about it. Mm -hmm. 
They're angry, bored, and frustrated about a child that they regret having or dealing with crying over spilled milk. Shocked, rude awakening. For those of you that are not dealing with somebody who had a child, <coughs> although it's here, that was planned. It was arranged. If there is no child involved, they regret being so damn childish, listening to a child or childlike energies. Because you were the perfect person. Wrong timing. Hmm. I don't know. I just see you cutting out anybody who is not for your higher good. And I think that they were shocked that you cut them out of their life. Their own actions is what ended things. Being selfish. Not treating you as a priority. Instilling, trying to cause fear. But there was some kind of conception here. Okay? So for some, they actually did conceive a child. Others, they're lying about a child. It is a betrayal. And they are stressed out and feeling like a damn ass fool. Slow. This person is... Sneaking, sneaky ass energy. Or they're trying to strategize how to end something. Mm. Mm. You're standing in your true authentic self. And maybe you ended something because somebody was too slow without being a sneak. See, you're not just good looking, you're a leader. You're beautiful, you're attractive, you are everything that this person ever desired. But the reason why the timing is wrong is because of news about a child. Somebody set them up somehow. They feel, yeah. They love you. Huh. Told you they were manipulated into being a father. There's news of a pregnancy of some type in some cases. Whatever went on, 
they were manipulated into believing that they had a child. It was planned. The person they're dealing with is a liar. It was planned deceptively. It's something to do with cycles. It's something to do with conception cycles. So whoever they've been dealing with may not have believed in the pill or contraceptives. Rhythm. Mary Magdalene. Maybe they were Catholic and they don't believe in in uh, contraceptives or that's what they told this person. And you know how they do the calendar method. Oh, it was planned. It was a planned pregnancy if they got someone pregnant. I told you. And they got hurt. And they start fighting and arguing about this pill. About this child's seed. Okay? Rose-colored glasses. They had the blinders on. There was no protection used. Even though someone said, here, I'll give you the pill or I'll offer protection. They're like, no, I'm good. I can't get pregnant. Or... They were fighting and arguing about it. It's about protection. They weren't you they weren't protected. They weren't using any. And now they're fighting and arguing and hurt now because they've got this child. Not only are they hurt because you walked away or you left their life. Now they're hurt because of this child. And like I said, if there is no actual pregnancy or birth that has gone on, but it's here, I have to say it. They were lied to. <laughs> why the timing is wrong right person they see you as everything you're this person's everything but it is wrong timing why because this person got told that they had a child they got told about a pregnancy or a child or they were just very childish but it's come back to kick him in the ass for some it's definitely a child news of a pregnancy news of a child so they've lost you they're miserable they're bored they're unhappy where they're at and i'm thinking in some cases there was competition for this. Whose seed is it? Again, we get the message of the child being controlled. So that's how this karmic energy got control of them. It is by news of a child. Or listening, if there's no child, listening to amateurs, novices, people who don't know squat about you 
judging a book by the cover. Gossip, rumors. You were the right person for this person's life. But they really messed it up. They're shocked. Look, shocked. Your actions have shocked them. An unpleasant truth. You walked away and they're shocked by the actions. They're shocked you laughed for one thing. But they're shocked at this unpleasant truth of what they have heard. And what they heard was news of a pregnancy in many cases. Hmm. Failure to launch. And maybe now the news <laughs> that they gotta hear is that you've got someone new in your life. That you're abundant, wealthy. Look, woo! And they feel on the outside looking in. What they missed out on. Because they believe they were the right person. Wrong timing. It's by their own foolishness you didn't really want to let this person go you tried to play it safe collect data collect facts you weren't gonna make a decision based on Suspicion. But facts is facts. Gossip talking about you. Now this damn ass karmic is afraid that this person's gonna find out the truth. And they are. They're in the energy of fear. Fear of going to court. Fear that their lies are catching up with them. Fear that this person's going to return to you. Talking about you behind your back to this person, that's what they were doing. You're sitting over here, classy as heck. This could be workplace gossip, but it is this karmic who is afraid that the gossip that they spoke to this person, this person's going to figure it out. And they will. Well, they're going to get a triple hurt here because the first hurt is you letting go. The second hurt is they're being lied to about this child if there is one. The third hurt is seeing you as someone new.
The karmic is lying. Third party, friends, whoever, they're lying. They are lying just to ruin someone's relationship. Your everything is being totally aligned in your favor. Endless opportunities, reclaiming your energy, healing the infinite life force energy flowing through you. Healing and fur unfurling back into love. Peace is what it's all about. And that is why they're at a loss. They lost their peace when they lost you. You've got family, friends, and guides all around you. And it's like you're not stepping out of that peaceful energy. <coughs> and this karmic is afraid. They gave up the energy of peace and tranquility for fear To be with someone who destroys their peace, that's on them. And don't let whoever these energies are destroy your peace. Stay in that energy. You might be shocking a lot of people. But you're doing whatever you want to do. You're not going to be controlled by the masses or what other people think of you. You're going to let them believe whatever they want to believe. You're going to do whatever it is you want to do. Just saying... Let them judge. They want to judge. Let them judge. They can't stop your fortune. They'll see clearly.
So I think you're putting yourself at your intelligence. And I'm telling you right now, you're not going to be treated as no option. Nope. I see you getting a lot of opportunities. I see you have a lot of options. And I think you're highly respected. Take care.